Hello everyone, my name is Lacey Noel, and today I'm gonna play with something I got from DryCon. Now, um, unfortunately I didn't do a vlog this year from DryCon, I only went for three hours on Sunday, but three hours is like enough with all the sensory overload there is. <laughs> um, but when I spent my three hours there, I made sure I shopped around a bit and got some things, like for example, a little something from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is the new collaboration with Alyssa Edwards. Um, I really wanted to get this palette because I don't have too many palettes that actually have a lot of fun colors in them. And this palette is a really nice collection of neutrals and bright fun colors. And since I do naturally have an element of drag in me, this palette's perfect for me. Although I haven't even opened it or um, swatched it at all yet. So this will be my first impression. The packaging's really cute. It has Alyssa's eyes and her name in gold. And then on the back it says always and forever and then her signature. That's really cute. Um, each pan has 0.8 grams or 0 0.028 ounces each. Opening the palette, we see that there's a nice range of color right off the bat, but there's also a lot of, not a lot, but a few neutrals. And my favorite about this palette is that it has a stark black color and a bright white, because those are the two colors I constantly use in my makeup, and I constantly run out of both of them, especially the white. So let's get into it. I'm gonna recreate one of the looks that was used for the campaign for this palette. And it is this beautiful purple pink look that Alyssa's wearing. And I don't know if you can see it through the cracked screen of my phone, but there it is. What's cute about this palette too is the names. Like, um, Texas made, cause she's from Mesquite, Texas. And, um, Beyond and Believe, because also with BBDC, that stands for um, Beyond Belief Dance Company, and with DDG, that's Drop Dead Gorgeous, and HOE, which is House of Edwards. I love when people get their own collaboration or like their own palette or something, because they often put themselves into the palette. Like for example, the Graveyard Girl palette had a lot of elements of funny within the palette, and it's nice to see a lot of elements of Alyssa within this palette. So, getting into it, the first color that I'm going to use is Texas Made. And the brush that this palette comes with is really nice too. It's like a nice little blending brush on the one side and then on the other side. I usually like to use this one for just packing on the color and setting it down and then blending it out with a different brush. So, this brush you can do that trick with pretty well. I'm gonna dip into Texas Made and lightly outline the shape that I want. This is a very bright pink. It feels nice too. Now when I went to Dry Con, I could have met Alyssa Edwards but I was scared because I only had three hours to spend there. So I didn't want all the palettes to be gone because um, when I went to the NYX booth, they ran out of the Aquaria ones and I didn't want to miss out on the Alyssa Edwards ones. And I needed to go over to Trixie's booth too because I wanted to get some of her stuff. I had a nice little shopping spree. I mean, not really a shopping spree, but... I got a bunch of cute little stuff that I'm really excited to play around with on here. Yeah, this is a very nice pink. I may add that I don't have the primer for this at all, so I'm just playing around with the palette on its own rather than using anything else from the collaboration within it. Um, 
Oh, also, if you guys followed me for long enough, I did a look that was me basically cosplaying as Alyssa Edwards. So, um, here's a picture of that. And, um, that was when I was, what, like 17? I've been, I've been around for a while. <laughs> Doing all sorts of crazy little makeup stuff. And then I'm just blending that out. And don't worry, I'm gonna blend out this part too. I'm just gonna go on and blend out this side. And by the way, this is a Morphe R37 brush. I really, really love their blending brushes. I think they're really good. And I think they're only like $6 each. I'll have to run to the Morphe store one day and get some brushes for painting because makeup brushes are actually really good for painting too. And not your face, a canvas. If you guys ever want to see any of my art, I post a lot of it in my Instagram story. And mainly on my Instagram I post makeup looks. And from, the from time to time I actually talk about my artwork on here too. And you want to make sure this is real blended too. Because when I add the purple in it, it's going to be really pretty. And now that we've gotten that nice and blended, I'm going to put down some belief on my lids. Oh, this is a very, very beautiful purple. I think this is the most beautiful purple I've ever put on my face. Sounds weird out, out of context, but you know. And I'm just patting down the color right on my lid and gently maneuvering it to the shape that I want. I'm just blending that purple into the pink. When I first got into anything that was kind of draggy, it wasn't really as mainstream as it is now. And I think that it's really amazing that it's gotten to be pushed out into the mainstream more and more. It's really cool to see how people are embracing it more and more and really taking inspiration from it and using it as a method of feeling good about themselves. Because honestly, drag is what got me into all this craziness, you know, like with makeup and with dressing up and everything, it really allowed me as a, you know, a cisgender woman like myself to really express myself through the art of doing yourself up, you know, and I think it's really, really, I think it's really, really cool that people cut on to that. And 
and I'm doing the same for the other side. Adding a little more product there. Oh, and don't get me wrong, guys. I constantly get makeup shamed all the time for wearing too much makeup or whatever, but I don't care. It's what I want to do with my face. They don't have to wear all this makeup. I mean, I don't have to either. I just enjoy it. I don't know about you guys, but... It's, like, therapeutic for me to put makeup on or, like, getting my... like. The process of getting myself ready to get out of my house is, like, therapeutic to me. As I'm blending this out more and more, I realize that maybe I should have gotten the primer, too. Um, I'm on a budget, though, so I only got the palette. As I'm blending this, the product doesn't really want to stay on my lid. So, I'll have to check and see if I can get the primer at a later time. I'm gonna add a little bit more of Texas Made right here. And bring it out just a little bit more. And I'm doing this with a Morphe R38 brush. What's cute about the little campaign photos is that the person who did Alyssa's makeup is also named Alyssa. And it's really cool to see more and more women doing dry queen makeup for different things because, I don't know, it's interesting to see what a woman's take is. On, um, you know, a, a guy who gets in drag and does himself up as a woman, for a woman to do a guy up as a woman, for them to do their make it at all gets a little bit confusing after a certain point, but it's really, really neat to see how that turns out. And I'm gonna touch up the products on this side. And I'm just taking Texas Made and dragging it underneath my eyes a bit. I really like this pink and how it blends out. And I like that it's called Texas Made too. That's adorable. I may not be Texas Made, but I did live in Texas for four years all throughout middle school. And then when I was 14, I moved here to Los Angeles, California. And while I've lived in those two places, I'm actually, I was born in New Jersey and then I lived in Pennsylvania for 10 years. So I've been all over the place. I really love this thing. It does just what I want it to. Oh, I got a little bit of brick road in there by accident.
And you want to make sure this is nicely blended before we add in the purple for the bottom. I'm gonna take this smaller little, it's a little Mac brush, but, oh wait. Oh, I can still see the number. It's a Mac 209 brush. It's my favorite brush. You can put down a lot of, well basically this is really good for blending out really tiny areas. And I usually like to use this for my water line. And I'm not going too far in my inner corner because I'm going to put some yellow there. I'm going to put a little tiny bit of heart shape tape on my lid. And blend that out. And then I'm gonna go in to, I don't get cute, I get drop dead gorgeous. And lightly pack that on. Gives the eye a nice shimmery glow. Just put a little tiny dab of shape tape right there. And I'm going to blend it out with my. Sephora Eye Enhancer Brush. And going back in with my Anastasia 18 brush. Sorry, I put the wrong color on there. I'm gonna go back into Drop Dead Gorgeous and just lay it down on my lid. I think that Drop Dead Gorgeous would be really pretty on its own too. Just a little shimmer on the lid. Now I'm gonna go in and put some yellow in the corners. I'm gonna sculpt that out using a little bit of Ben Nye's Clown White. I always use this for cut creases. A lot of people use concealers or foundation for cutting the crease or doing any sort of cleaning out anything, but I, I like swear by this. It's my favorite. I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia swoosh brush and just stencil out where I'm gonna put the white, I mean the, I'm sorry, the yellow. And it's highly pigmented and very bright, so it creates a nice clean canvas for whatever color you decide to put on it.
And then using this brush, I'm going to go into Brick Road. Oh, that's very bright. Gonna go in with my Anastasia 20 brush instead. Now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop liquid liner. And on the bottom, I'm just outlining my waterline. And with that, I'm going to blend that out just a little bit with the color Beast. This blends nicely. And I'm gonna take my liner again and go for my top lid, but I'm not gonna wing it out too far. I'm gonna put my lashes on and I'll be right back. And I'm back with some <laughs> lashes and some hair. And a recent trend that I've been noticing a lot lately is a lot of rhinestones. So I decided to stone these lashes up a bunch. I 
I really love this look with the bright colors and the rhinestones and the hair it's giving me Barbie and the Rockers. I definitely won't be attracting any straight boys with this look, but you know, gay boys are good too. Anyway, um, my summary of this palette, um, I would give it a 7 out of 10, but with the primer, I'm sure it would be a 10 out of 10. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have the primer because I was on a budget, so um, I don't know just yet. So. Um, once I get the primer, I'm going to do another look with this, and the only color that I had a problem with, really, even though I didn't use every single color, was Believe, you know, like, with the, um, how it was blending it, and it didn't really stay in one place at all, so, um, I think that with a primer that would change, but really that was, that's my only complaint with it. Other than that, I really love this palette, and my favorite color from this is Texas Made. Such a great hot pink. Blends beautifully. The pigment is there, you know? Um, I'm excited to play around more with this palette and see what I can do with it. So I use Texas Made, Brick Road, DDG, Believe, and Beast. And with the brush that it came with, it's a really, I think that this is a really great brush. A lot of the times, you know, people who are makeup artists or people that just like to do makeup on themselves, they don't like to use the brush that the palettes come with, but I think this is a good brush. I actually use this, um, especially use this end an awful lot for setting down different eyeshadows. And then this isn't a bad blending brush. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. I usually like using like these little brushes. But yeah, that is pretty much my thoughts and feelings about this palette so far. I'm gonna get the primer and see how that works, and I'll do another look with this little guy. And I hope you guys liked this look and enjoyed watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram as well as my Twitter to follow up on more of my makeup looks that I, I cause I do not all of my makeup looks on YouTube, but I do more of them for my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on those social media platforms to see more of me, and I'll see you guys next time.